Okay, kids, we're going to actually come forward today. We're going to be safe, so I'm going to ask you, if you are a child or childlike, I don't know, either one, come on up to these chairs right up here. Good job. And we're going to be safe. We've got some chairs across here, but I like it because I'm going to get to see you up close. Hello. Hi. It's great to see you today. All right. Love that. Well, We've had a lot of things go crazy in our world lately, haven't we, right? Some things that we didn't count on, like how many of you thought you'd be doing school on Zoom? You thought you would? Okay, well, you are a good predictor. That's very good. We've also had things that have gone like we have an election that we still don't even know who our president is, right? This is not what we predicted. This is a little bit strange. Life has gone crazy. Now, we haven't all had bad things, though. Like, I have a new puppy. That's a good thing, right? We've had some good things happen in our life, too. But I want to parallel it to something. Because Pastor Les today is going to talk about destiny. Who knows what the word destiny means? What does it mean? Uh, Pastor Les, you'll need to preach. Very good job. It, your destiny, kind of like what you're made to do. Wonderful answer. I love that. So Pastor Les is going to be talking about that. So I thought it's like this. This is one of my favorite books, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. Have you ever read this book? Any adults ever read this book? Okay. One of my favorite books. Now, when I was reading this book, I got about to the middle of the book and I got distracted by some things that were going on in my life that I had to stop reading the book, okay? And this is the deal. When I stopped reading the book, I got stuck at the page in the place I was in the story. And you know, in life, that can happen to us. Sometimes with all these things that are going on that are unpredictable and we don't know how things are going to turn out, we can kind of just go, you know what, I'm tired, I'm weary, I'm just going to put the book down and I'm going to stop. God doesn't want us to do that. He wants us to keep turning the pages of the book of our life and reading because I'm never going to find out what happens at the end of the story if I don't keep turning the pages and reading, right? So God wants us to do that. He wants us to keep trying. He wants us to keep working and doing the things we're supposed to do so that we can fulfill our destiny, what we can fulfill what God wants us to do. Okay, she has another comment. I really do think we might have a preacher up here. I was going to say that um, if, you, if you have a problem in your life, you can just move on. You can just move on. I love it. That was just said it better than I did. That is perfect. We can move on and we can ask God to help us. So I, that is fantastic. Well, I am so glad you're here today. And today I'm actually going to give you a treat. All right. So when I, after I say the prayer, then I'm going to give each of you a treat that you can take back to your seats. All right. Dear Lord, thank you for the blessings you give us in all the crazy times in our life. Lord, we know that no matter what's going on in the world, you are still in control. And what you want us to do is keep moving forward, keep turning the pages in our life so that we can be helpful, we can contribute, and we can see your movement in the world around us. In your name we pray, amen. 